Are you tired of Cadillac's lack of competitive SUVs and sedans? Have you been waiting for a vehicle that hits all the right notes? Well, wait no more because the Cadillac Lyric has finally arrived. For years, Cadillac has struggled to match its rivals with both dynamic excellence and great aesthetics. However, with the Lyric, it appears they've hit the jackpot. Using GM's Altium architecture, this car boasts a 12-module, 102kWh battery pack that provides an EPA-estimated 312 miles of range and a unique 5-link front and rear suspension. Stay with us on this channel as our next video will be talking about the vehicle's suspension system. But it's not just the technical aspects that make the Lyric such a game-changer. It's the way it performs on the road. In Park City, Utah, the Lyric handles wonderfully on fast, curving roads, despite being a heavy vehicle. Cadillac achieves this by integrating the batteries with the body shell, making for a stiff structure, which helps the suspension perform at its best. So, if you're ready to experience the future of luxury electric cars, look no further than the Cadillac Lyric. Although the 2023 model year is sold out, you can still pre-order the 2024 model year, with deliveries expected in the spring. This is what we're going to be covering here today on Lyric Media, along with all other recent news. One reason you should subscribe to Lyric Media is because of these timely updates, and we post literally every piece of information about the Cadillac Lyric. Thanks for your visit to Lyric Media. We're dedicated to keeping you updated with the latest information and breaking news regarding the EV Lyric Cadillac and other future EVs from Cadillac Corporation. If you like or own an electric car, this channel is for you. We work together as a family, taking into account your opinions and providing you with all the videos and materials you need to keep up with the EV industry. To keep up with what's going on here, please subscribe. Like this video and click the notification bell if you're a new visitor. Thank you very much. For years, it's been painfully evident that Cadillac was capable of producing a vehicle that excelled on all fronts. It produced dynamically superb and attractive sedans with inadequate inside trims and technology, which debuted at a time when Americans were flocking to crossovers and SUVs in large numbers. Cadillac's SUVs, on the other hand, were not especially competitive in any way, with the Escalade serving as the exception that proved the rule. If only the folks who invented Cadillacs had been given the green light to make something not just wonderful, but also something that American luxury car purchasers genuinely desire. This is the second vehicle to be produced utilizing GM's Ultium design, following the Hummer EV pickup. The Lyric, while not being a $100,000, £10,000 monster truck, is the first Ultium automobile that seems really current. The Ultium platform is simply a floor pan comprised of battery cell modules that define the car's length. What happens above the floor varies greatly from vehicle to vehicle, so the Lyric receives a 12-module, 102 kilowatt hours battery pack with an EPA-estimated range of 312 miles and a unique 5-link front and rear suspension. Cadillac now offers the Lyric in a single well-equipped trim level with either a single rear motor or a motor for each axle. Because the all-wheel drive vehicle is still a few months away from production, we drove a rear-drive 2023 model year vehicle. Park City, Utah, is almost absurdly beautiful, blending alpine ski town and desert oasis. In the highlands, you'll discover fast, gently bending roads with fantastically smooth surfaces. The Lyric is magnificent here. Despite being the Cadillac of the future, the Lyric employs a classic method to delivering superb ride and handling. The Lyric is a large car 56 10 pounds for the rear drive version, 59 15 pounds for the all wheel drive version, but the battery pack adds to a low center of gravity, and Cadillac was able to achieve a nearly 50 50 weight distribution. The integration of batteries with the body shell results in extremely strong construction, which is required for a suspension to perform well. There are no sophisticated chassis electronics to speak of here, just high quality twin tube passive dampers and a pretty soft setup with plenty of wheel travel. This configuration is excellent for weight and cost savings plus active suspension gear drains the battery, further lowering range, yet it does not seem like a compromise at all. The Lyric, like Cadillac sports sedans, breathes well with the road surface but never wallows. You have to wait a moment for the car to take a set in wide fast corners, but once it does, the Michelin primacy all-season tires provide plenty of grip. Steering appears sluggish at first, but it does a fantastic job of informing the driver about what's occurring on the road surface. Cadillac puts the front suspension on a cradle, which is then permanently fastened to the body to provide steering accuracy. 
Rubber bushings isolate the rear suspension cradle to maintain ride quality. The Lyric also serves as a useful reminder that adaptive dampers are unnecessary when the chassis principles are so solid. Sure, GM's magical Magneride dampers might give even more bandwidth between soft and firm in a future V version of the Lyric, which, while unconfirmed, appears nearly certain, but they're useless for this standard issue version. Cadillac's testers were all outfitted with 22-inch wheels with 40-profile tires, which are often a nightmare for ride quality. If you didn't know any better, you'd believe these were in their 20s. The weight of the car is most noticeable while braking hard, however braking performance is robust and pedal feel is excellent. Cadillac accomplished the brake calibration in-house rather than depending on a third-party source to better handle the transition between regenerative and friction braking. The electronic brake booster, like Cadillac's contemporary Sedans and the C8 Corvette, provides for user-selectable pedal feel, but in both regular and sport settings, there's quick bite at the very top of the pedal, and it's remarkably easy to modulate. You can't determine where the region ends and the friction begins, which isn't true of all electrify vehicles. The Lyric's 340 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque gives sufficient acceleration from a standstill, though it isn't a neck snapper like other premium EVs. In the end, it doesn't matter. How speedy do you really need your luxury family crossover to be? If you need something faster, wait for the 500 all-wheel drive model. Furthermore, the Lyric transports speed quite effectively. It's all too simple to exceed the speed limit by 20 to 30 muff. That's also because the Lyric is so quiet it's almost spooky. A combination of classic sound deadening material and an active noise cancelling technology means that even at 85 miles per hour, you only hear very well suppressed wind noise. The use of accelerometers on the wheels to estimate the pitch and amount of tire noise and employ speakers to cancel it out is really brilliant. The Lyric is a joy to drive in typical traffic. Despite its 196.7 inch total length, it's nimble and like any good luxury automobile, isolates you from the outside world. The outstanding SAT 8 Level 3 Super Cruise Driver Assist technology from GM comes standard, but it won't be activated until later this year via an over-the-air upgrade. The cabin is possibly Cadillac's best yet, with a very simple design focused on a 33-inch curved OLED display that holds both the instrument cluster and the infotainment system. It looks great and is simple to use, but some journalists at the Cadillac event experience glitches and even displays shutting off. My only complaint was that the screen occasionally flickered on and off. Cadillac claims that its test vehicles were early prototypes and that two software updates are scheduled before consumer deliveries begin next month, which should fix any issues. The nicest part about the infotainment system is that the built-in navigation system is simply Google Maps, so there's now a better option to utilizing Apple CarPlay and Android Auto that are both are accessible wirelessly. The remainder of the system isn't as smooth as, say, BMW's newest a drive, but it's fairly simple to use with a combination of touchscreen and rotary wheel control in the center console. Cadillac made a big show about being able to build its own brand-specific switch gear for the Lyric, rather than depending on GM components bin. The majority of it is rather excellent and does a fantastic job of raising the cab above prior Cadillac interiors, even if some components, most notably the rotary infotainment controller, appear great but feel cheap. The Genesis GV60 performance I tested a few weeks ago still has the Lyric beat for overall interior quality, especially with the feel of the leather, yet that car costs a few thousand dollars more and is much smaller. I also wish there was a dedicated drive mode button. The settings are buried on the second page of the infotainment system, and while users can place a shortcut button at the bottom of the screen, a button on the steering wheel would be ideal. Overall though, the Lyric's interior is up there with anything Mercedes is doing for similar money, and it's hard not to overstate how big of a deal that is. Generations of Cadillac since the brand's art and science period began with the original CTS in 2002 have been ultimately fell by interiors that simply weren't good enough. This interior, by contrast, is a knockout. The 2023 rear-drive Lyric comes in one very well-equipped trim for $62,990, though Cadillac offered a handful last year for early reservation holders at just $59,990. For 2024, Cadillac says the rear drive model will start around $60,000, with the all-wheel drive starting at $64,000. For the money, 
There isn't a better luxury EV out there, and notably, the Lyric undercuts the Tesla Model Y long range while offering similar range and performance and a far better interior. I asked Cadillac directly if they're losing money on these cars. The Lyric's chief engineer, Jamie Brewer, said simply that Cadillac is a for-profit company, while brand president Rory Harvey just acknowledged that it was priced aggressively. Given what's here, I suspect the Lyric is not intended to be a big profit generator, but instead something to win over desperately needed new customers to the brand. If a great driving, wonderfully designed, luxurious crossover doesn't do that, nothing will. Perhaps the best thing about the Lyric is what it portends for the future. Cadillac's stated goal is to be all-electric by 2030, though Rory Harvey says that could happen sooner depending on customer response. The Lyric is, essentially, the replacement for the XT5, though that gas-powered crossover will continue in production for some time, and a smaller electric car replacing the XT4 is due next year. Plus, Cadillac is working on more high-performance cars. Given they'll all share DNA with the Lyric, there's a lot of good coming. Not since the original Escalade has Cadillac had such a right car at such a right time. If you're rooting for Cadillac's success, the Lyric brings with it a sigh of relief. Finally, finally, Cadillac has a near certain hit. On so many levels, the Lyric is worth the wait. This is basically an overview of what we've updated here at Lyric Media. You're welcome to be part of our community with a subscription. Thanks for your patience until our next video. Adios amigos.